Hey you guys, um, today we are going to be reading a book that is focusing on R. So lots of my speech students are working on the R sound. Um, if you got speech homework in your home correspondence packet that related to R, then that's what your student is working on. Now, if your student is not sure how to make the R sound yet, you did not receive any speech homework um, with that sound in it. So you only got R homework if your child already knows how to produce the sound and we're working on it. Um, word sentence conversation level so this book we're going to read is called the pirate who couldn't say r and um there are going to be lots of r words in here and there's lots of ways that we adapt this book to our therapy so if your student is just now working on isolation and it will say that on their home correspondence packet then every time you see me say er or r in isolation throughout the book they can repeat that after me if your student is working on R in word level. There are lots and lots of R's throughout this book, so they can try to write down um, five to ten R words they, that they hear throughout the book, or if you want to wait until the end, there is a list of R words that we can use in therapy. If you're working on sentences, I suggest that you write down five to ten of these words or wait until you see the list at the back, and then you can use those R words in a sentence. Um, Another thing that we do a lot is if we're working on R in reading, I would give them a copy of The Pirate Who Could Not Say R, and they would go through there and we would highlight every single word that has an R in it. And that way, whenever they go back to read this book to me, or if we do a partner reading activity to where I'm reading it and they're helping me read, then that will give them that visual cue that they need to make sure that their tongue is stable and ready to produce it. So, um, like I said, if your child got R homework home, they already know how to produce the R. They don't, um, they would not have got the homework if they did not already know how to produce it. So where their tongue needed to be in their oral cavity. But just as a reminder, our tongue is not in the front of our oral, ca oral cavity. It's in the back, so the back of our mouth. It's a wide tongue. It's not a skinny tongue. It is so wide that it should be scraping the sides of your back teeth usually at the top. It's usually your top back teeth that's usually scraping the sides of. Um, when we are doing therapy for R, we kind of, we teach tongue stability. Um, and that means that your tongue is going to do all the work. Your jaw is not really going to move. Your lips are not going to move. So we don't want to have rounded lips, not ooh or uh. Your lips are not going to be moved and they're definitely not going to be protruded and rounded. Um, and your tongue is going to be stable too. So it should stay right there in the back, almost like you could bite the sides of your tongue with your teeth to keep it there. If your tongue is not in the back and up higher and wide, then we're going to know because it's going to fall. So it may sound like, oh, and that means your tongue has fallen. You don't have good stability anymore and you need to raise that tongue back up to where you can feel it scraping the sides of your teeth. So, er, this is not moving, lips are not moving, tongue is up, it's in the back, and I can feel it so wide that I can feel it on the sides of my teeth. So, like I said, your student already knows how to produce it because I've already taught them all that, but this is just going to be good drill therapy that they can do right now at home. Okay, so this is probably going to be a two or three part video, but we'll get started with the pirate who couldn't say R. Here's the legend of Red Legs Lamar, a pirate who couldn't say R. He gave it his best, the crew not impressed, so he whistled and played his guitar. Lamar's graveling growl was askew. What it caused it, he had no clue. Can't figure out why whenever he'd try, he'd say oh instead of R, it's true. R is a word that all pirates must say cause it's needed throughout the day. Tattered sails to sew, the dinghy to row, and preparing the ship to make way. So he went to see Barnacle Joe. He's a tutor to friend or foe. A pirate retired, he's done what's required, now paints pictures with only his toes.